Hey everybody, uh, it's Chris again, and I'm here with my friend Tiffany. Uh, and Tiffany, oh gosh, I should stand back here. I know. We got a new studio here. Okay, where do we look? Where do we uh, look? Right there. Okay, I'm looking down. It's not. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> um, Tiffany teaches what? I teach biochemistry and biology and chem. Wow, that's a lot. Maybe I should just say biochem. Puts it all together. Right. Uh, um, and and do you have what's your PhD in? Uh, it's biochem. What were, what were you doing for your thesis and oh, stuff? Oh, I was working on retroviruses like HIV and Rosser coronavirus. Wow, that sounds that sounds really cool. So the stem coding project, love all of it, right? So we're going to do biology, yes. chemistry, physics, the Everything. whole nine. Today we're doing math and. As I'm not a math person, I'm not a mathematician, you're not a mathematician. I am not. But we appreciate the math, and we especially appreciate Pi Day. Yes. Which is coming up uh, pretty soon. What? Two days. Right. Uh -huh. So I thought, uh, so do you know why I brought you here? Probably no, I, I've been in the dark here. I don't okay. know what's going on. Well, we're going to start a cult based on this symbol. <laughs> the idea. Okay. Right. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to drive Pi. So let's imagine that we're on a deserted island. Okay. Now, the normal way you would figure out Pi would be to, like, if you had, like, a piece of string and you wrap it around a circle and then you measure that with a really precise ruler and say, okay, well, the circumference is 2 pi r, and so you take the circumference divide by 2 r, Okay. That gives you pi. But let's say that you don't have a ruler. Okay, which I you, don't. Right. All you have is like a bunch of darts or something. Oh, and I get, okay, I like darts more than rulers. Okay. Yeah, so this is our dartboard. Okay. Okay, and we're going to throw darts at it. And we're so bad at throwing darts, or at least I'm bad at throwing darts. Are I you am, really good? I am not good. Okay. I usually hit the wall. And so we're going to throw it at entirely random directions at this thing. Okay, how do I do that? And so... What we're going to do is that as this thing gets filled, well, we got we got to tell them how we're going to figure out what pi is first, right? Yeah. Okay. So as the thing gets filled, the ratio of the number of darts that fall within the circle, okay, uh, compared to the number of dart total darts that fall within the square, okay. uh, that is going to give us the ratio of the area of the circle to the area of the square. Okay. Okay. So kind of down here, and by the way, there's a link below the screen, you can find this kind of, this thing. So if you think about, you know, the area of a, so the area of a circle and the area of a square, I'm going to zoom in here, so you guys see that? So, so right by my little elbow here, that's the ratio of the area of a circle to the area of a square, right? And then that is pi r squared over l squared. And then because the circle is within the square, that means l is equal to 2r. So you square that, you get 4r, and then the r's cancel, you get pi over 4. So the ratio of the number of darts that fall within the circle to the total number of darts would be pi over 4. Okay. So how would we use that to figure out, to estimate pi? Take that value and multiply it by 4. Exactly. This is a smart one right here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the code. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. So you see where it says open the, open the code in an editor there? So for you guys following along on YouTube, the, yeah, so you guys following along on YouTube, the link is probably down here. So go ahead and click that, open up the code editor, and that'll come up. This All right, there you go. The coding thing is horrifying. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. So you have no coding experience I don't before. know anything about coding. Okay. Computers in general. Today is your lucky day. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and hit play and just see what it does. Okay. And I can't guarantee this is going to be the most interesting code okay. you've ever seen. But go ahead and hit play. Now that's going to show this this thing behind you. I can't tell which way I'm going. So, right. So you see how it's zero zero. <laughs> We're still getting used to the screen. So you see how it's zero zero. That's the origin. Okay. And then uh, we have it set up. So x is half the radius and y is half the radius. So that's why there's this little point up here. Do you see that? Okay, yeah, now I see it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to modify this code so that instead of just drawing that point all the time, we're going to draw a bunch of random points. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go back to the other screen that we were at, go back to that tab. Okay. And uh, you'll see below that, you see where it says random? X equals random right there? No. Okay, see yeah, I see it now. Just hit that button to copy the clipboard. Okay. You can actually just hit the button. You don't even have to oh, highlight it there. 
Just this? Yeah, hit the button. Okay, there you go. The I did and it. then go back and just control V that into control V to paste that into here. The code. Yep. Or there. Uh, go ahead no. and put it after the X and Y there. You want to make sure that it's inside of the draw function. Okay, right, so, so in that, right there? Kind of like right here, maybe. You see my finger? Kind of like right what? there. Up here? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Because they're going to randomly define the point, and then we're going to draw draw the point. Okay, so now so I... So just control V. Okay. Ah, go back, go do <laughs> control Z. I don't know why that happened. Control uh, Z? Push... Uh, now now go ahead and bad. go now ahead and hit bad. the button again. Oh man! <laughs> oh, what a disaster! <laughs> okay. You tried so hard. Copy the clipboard. Copy the clipboard. Ready, set. Okay. Okay. Control, Control v. v. Yes. Success. <laughs> See, look. Second try. That's really good for me. All right. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and erase. Oh, go ahead and erase the first two things. There. Oh you my goodness! Really this is chaos. Anymore. Okay. Um, you could. I mean, I suppose like, you could leave it in, but. Can I delete it like there that? There you go. Yep. And okay. now just go ahead and hit play. I guarantee it's going to be a lot more fun. Okay. Here we go. All right, now there's dots oh. everywhere. You see it? Yes. It's kind of over here. Like zip, zip, zip. We're throwing darts. There's a whole bunch. We're throwing darts there. Oh, this is us throwing? 60, okay. 60 darts a second is what we're doing. I, I think is what we're doing. So, so we did. We got the dart part. Right. Okay. Okay. The next now part, we got to figure out which darts land within the circle. Obviously, this is kind of a square thing over here, and so uh, we got to figure out which darts land in the circle, and we got to change the color of the dart to indicate whether it's in the circle. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and go this to the other tab. Do I stop this? Because it's uh, still if, throwing stuff. If you want to, sure. Now? Yes. If you like looking at it, you can leave it up, I suppose. Um, okay. We'll have to stop it eventually. I'm gonna stop it now then. Cool. Uh oh. Oh, That's so fine. it disappeared. Oh, okay. I understand now. All right, now what? So I'll go down a little bit. Where? Uh, it's step two, which is right. Yeah, you see this code? To go ahead and hit copy the code to the clipboard. Right, I'm not going to touch anything else this time. Yeah. Okay, now we're at. And you want to put that like below the X and Y here. Um, but, but, but above draw point? Yeah, but above draw point. Okay. Go ahead and control V. Okay, and then go ahead and delete the last draw point thing there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like that? Oh, you deleted all the curly brackets. What? Can I just so put one back in? Co so put that one back in, and then you got to put one more. Oh my god, there's Because you got to close the draw function. Did I get it? Uh, yeah, that pretty much did it. Okay. So now? That makes me happy. All right. Now here's the thing. Because I'm not a very nice guy, instead of actually telling you what goes into here to figure out what is in the circle and what's out of the circle, uh, I just put the word something and something else. So I have to put, just pick a number? Well, it's, it's if something is less than something else, then it's in the circle and it's gray. Okay. But if it's not, then it's black. So how do we figure out what is in, what is in the circle and what's not in the circle? I don't know. And I'll give you a hint. So the hint is that if the distance from that point that's over here to the origin, okay, if that distance is less than the radius, okay. So I put in. I need to put radius. So the right side of that would be radius, right? So if it's okay. Instead of something so else, it's, it's going to be the radius. Something. Okay. So this is radius. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being a sport, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the first take we're doing this. I just grabbed her out of her office and she was playing. She's He's being like, let's nice go. Tonight. Let's go do a make a video. I'm not even oh. buying you lunch. You know, this is, I owe you a favor after I'm this bribed. one. Um, all right. So if something is less than the radius. So what is the distance from this point to the origin? From the... Okay, wait. Say it's after so we have again. some point that's like over here so somewhere. Anywhere. It has the, the value x, y. Okay. What is the distance from that point to the origin? So you just do that x, y minus zero, zero, right? The origin is just zero? Is that what you uh, mean? Right, so like if you think of it as a triangle, like what's the, the length of the triangle? What's the hypotenuse of the triangle going from the origin to the point x, y? I don't know. You know what what I'm I'm saying? Saying? It's just uh, square root of x squared plus y squared. Oh, That's yeah, it. totally. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I know. It's. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else knew that? that it's was spring break here. 
Spring break. Okay. So We're wait, say that again. So I'm doing so square, square root. root. How do I do that in symbols? S Q R T. Okay. S Q R T. Uh, parentheses. Oh, I should get away from the code. So there. Yeah, and then x times x. Okay, so we don't actually yeah, type in x squared. We just do x right. times x, which is secretly x squared. Right. Okay. Now Plus what? y times y. Inside the parentheses. Yeah. Right, because okay. that's the hypotenuse. Okay, that's the right. hypotenuse. And now go ahead and oh press God, play. Oh yeah, we're going back to sophomore year in high school. Yeah, okay. I know. I know. Now do I, now do I do all my parentheses? Uh, you're good. You should happy? be able to go. Go ahead and hit okay. play. See what happens. Let's now see. I have to guess. Okay, okay, so now we're throwing darts again. I'm gonna duck down here so people can see. Is this dart going throwing, on. or is this is this the darts we already threw? Or, or are they new darts? These are new darts, but if you look carefully, some of them are gray and some of them are black. Do you see? Because the gray ones are in the circle. That's right. And so if you wait long enough, yeah, then uh, it'll make more a more discernible kind of circle. Okay. Okay, and it's kind of, if you want to just sit here and just kind of watch it. Well, it's I guess pretty I'm fun. blocking it too. Yeah. Uh, so that's what you should see. So as we watch this thing go, let's think about the program. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is we want to we want to keep track of the total number of darts that we have. Okay. Okay. So. So you notice that. Where the, is that? Where so is you that notice like up here, we have n points equals zero. Yeah. So we want to make sure that every time we run this draw function, we're going to run it 60 times a second. We want to make sure that n points is increased by one. So towards the bottom of the draw function, but not after the draw function, you want to write n points plus equals 1.0. Am I allowed to do it here? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Enter? Yep, enter. All right, now say what you just said again because I don't know what you said. n points. n points? Sorry, n points as in. Like actual you n? You see this variable up here? Look, right there. That oh, one. okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I told you I really. Totally unrehearsed. Really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, but it's for points. Pi Day, so we gotta. <laughs> well, they're not gonna know what they're doing either. I don't so know. this is great. Okay, end points. <laughs> right. Plus equals. Plus equals. Why are we doing plus and then an equals? Okay. Yeah, it's a coding thing. Oh, it's, sorry, it's a coding thing. It's, a coding right? it's not thing. a biochemistry thing yet. <laughs> okay. Now what? One point oh. One point zero. And then go ahead and give it a semicolon there. Like that? Yep, so that's going to keep okay, track of what? how many darts we've thrown. Do I and, enter? Uh, no, you're good for right now, actually. It's counting for us? Where's it counting? Uh, we'd well, have to stop the program and start it over again. So are you doing that? To get it to do that? We'll do that in a second. I think it's it's just really pretty. What we, it's really pretty, the thing up here. It's, that I'm blocking. You, you, you can kind of see how, over time, it becomes more recognizably a circle. Ooh. So, by the way, I chose gray and black because I didn't want people who are colorblind to not be able to see it. So That's a good decision. Yeah, the next thing we got to do is we got to keep track of the number of darts that fall within the circle. So, I have a variable over here, endpoints in circle, and so we need to increase that number uh, somewhere in here uh, for when the thing is in the circle. Up here? So, very similar to how we increased endpoints. So which part of that is the one that's in circle? Is it the first part of this? Is it uh, is it the gray ones or is, are the gray ones in the circle or the black ones? The gray ones are in the circle. Right. So inside of here, you want to make sure the endpoints in circ gets inside increased by here? one. Inside uh, here. Well, right either before or after draw point gray. Yeah. So you want right to right there, right there. Yeah. So go ahead and press enter to add that? an extra line. Yep. Okay. Now I do what? Uh, just type endpoints. Oh, it helps if you can spell. Yeah. Okay. Underscore in circ. In like it's circ? Yeah, like it's spelled you know, up here. You know, when you talk about circ and biochemistry, that means a different thing. Does it? Yeah, in circ. Hold on. Uh, see? I-N-C-I-R-C. I-N. Oh, see, we're talking circles. I'm thinking. What does circ in biology mean? It's the Rob sarcoma virus, circ. What's, what's the sarcoma virus? It's it's a chicken retrovirus. Chi okay, of course, right. Yeah, duh. Okay, duh. I still can't. I still I'm missing something. <laughs> there you I go. Okay. Okay, and then plus equals one point oh. Plus equals craziness. Okay. Yeah, we have a video about that, by the way. Oh, okay. Math world so I need to watch the plus minus yeah. video or plus yeah. equals. Not everybody's watched it yet. So okay. This one. You need um, to watch it because I don't know what it is either. We uh, one point oh. 
semicolon. One there. point oh semicolon like before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you go ahead and stop it and play it there. Stop. Like stop all the way. Yep. Go all ahead right. And play. Ready. Set go. All right. Nothing's happening yet. Okay, so what we got to do is that we've added those variables in, but nowhere are we actually writing those values to it. So if you go back to the tab, we're almost yeah. there. Okay. We're so close. We're so close from being able to figure out pi. Okay. So oh, remember, I almost. said the ratio of those things times four. Yes. Well, you said the ratio of yes, things times four, because right? Because right here. Right. right. That's so right. So we're gonna get this value, but then we have to multiply it by four. Right. So if you go down. Okay. And then there's a thing to copy, copy the clipboard. There you go. Which one? Step four? Step four, yep. So oh, copy I see. That. Look, see, he has all the instructions here for us, yep. for those of us that have no idea what we're doing. Okay, now I copy this. Yep. And, and put that towards the end. I put it like all the way at the end or no? Uh, Close-ish to the end? There you go, right there. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And here we go. We're about so to estimate do pi. Have to stop? Do I stop? Yeah, hit stop and play. Oh, I'm okay. so excited. Pi Day. I'm swept up in the madness of Pi Day. Well, I gotta get out of this, out of this Okay. Work. So is what do we got? Is it doing we're, it? Pi is roughly 3.04 right now. 3.07. Oh, it's, it's getting closer. It's getting there. I was thinking about it. So if we watch this longer and longer, it'll Are get you guys closer. Are what we're looking at down here? Whoops, I keep touching that. So. Whoop, oh, we're getting a 3.09-ish. So the thing I really like about this coding thing is that uh, the longer you wait, the more recognizably like a circle this looks like, okay. and the closer to actual pi that you actually get. So it's not a coincidence that this looks more like an actual circle okay. the closer that this gets to pi. So when here we are, we're close to three point, we're between 3.13 and 3.14 now. Ooh. So we're getting closer. And the longer you wait, the, the closer it's gonna get to pi. Nice. So you did it. Whoop, whoop. I coded and calculated pi. There you go. And I learned something about chicken viruses. <laughs> <laughs> chicken retrovirus. Chicken re oh, retro. Oh, retro. You sh did you say retrovirus? Yeah, it's so much cooler. Oh, gosh. I had no idea how to retrovirus. It. <laughs> That'll be it the next time. Yes, yes. Yeah. Retrovirus. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, helping us to code here, uh, Tiffany, and so we can get swept up in the madness of Pi Day 2018. Uh, thanks a lot, and we'll be back with more videos at some point in the near future. So thanks. Thanks, Tiffany. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you.